Hi there, it's Chantal from Bray Sheet Toddler Daycare. Today I'd like to share with you a book called How to Catch a Star by Oliver Jeffers. Once there was a boy and the boy loved stars very much. Every night the boy watched the stars from his window and wished that he had one of his very own. He dreamed how the star might be his friend. They would play hide and go seek and take long walks together. The boy decided he would try and catch a star. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best because the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night. So the next day he set out at sunrise, but he could not see a star anywhere. He sat down and waited for one to appear. He waited and waited and he ate lunch and waited. And after dinner, he waited some more. Finally, just before the sun was about to set, he saw a star. The boy tried to jump up and grab it, but he could not jump high enough. So very carefully, he climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find, but the star was still out of reach. He thought he might lasso the star with the life belt from his father's boat, but it was much too heavy for him to carry. He thought he could fly up in his spaceship and just grab it, the star, but his spaceship had run out of petrol last Tuesday when he flew it to the moon. Perhaps he could get a seagull to help him fly up into the sky to reach his star, but he, the only seagull he could find didn't want to help at all. The boy thought he would never catch a star. Then he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he had ever seen, just a baby star, it must have fallen from the sky. He tried to fish out the star with his hand, but he couldn't reach it. He waited and walked and watched and waited. And sure enough, the star washed up on the bright golden sand. The boy had caught a star a star of his very own. The